What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply show you some numbers, but in my opinion, the most important numbers when it comes to management, when it comes to time management, when it comes to financial management, when it comes to your freaking life and just overall business um, as a whole, um, keeping track of, of what we do, you guys, keeping track of what of what dollars go out, right? What we spend our money on is super, super important. And so shout out to my buddy Grove, my client, top producing realtor, online entrepreneur out of South Africa. Um, my buddy Grove, he shot me an email. In fact, he commented on one of my videos as well. And he said, David, can you simply do a, a video on your on your day to day routine on your actual schedule? And so I thought it'd be beneficial for a lot of you guys just to kind of share it because I, I, I truly believe that as an entrepreneur, most of us are all over the place. Like at least I was in the beginning, right? As I'm early days entrepreneurship, I'm working on all of the shit that doesn't make me money, right? How many of you guys feel that way where you, you feel like you're freaking running a thousand miles an hour? Your head is spinning, right? You're thinking, you're, 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 you're all over the place. You're overwhelmed. You're working on so many different projects because you are a solopreneur, right? In the very beginning. Um, and, 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 we can get overwhelmed, right? Life, business, everything can be super complicated. You know, you're doing every little task when it comes to trying to build something. Um, at least that's how I was. And I'm all over the place. And before you know it, the day's over and I'm like, shit, man, I didn't make any money. I don't know what the hell I did that was really, really productive, right? I'm just all over the place. And so I truly believe a lot of us don't manage our time correctly. Um, and I truly believe a lot of us spend money on dumb shit right? When really we should be investing or we should be, or should we, or, or should we should, should just be taking proper account of what's going out, right? What I'm paying for my landing page software, what I'm paying for my internet service, what my cell phone bill, how many cells I need to make in order to cover all that, you know, what's my reoccurring income need to be in order to cover these expenses, right? So again, I have two simple sheets two two simple um, um documents that i that that i that i swear by and i and i and i hold myself accountable by and and by knowing the exact numbers right from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed knowing exactly what you're doing at what time is so freaking important man it will allow you to really manage your life overall manage your business and most importantly in my opinion manage your family life as well because as entrepreneurs that's what tends to suffer a lot of us that are working our asses off again we're a whole, you know, freaking working 10 hours, 20 hours, freaking 15 hours a day, all that, where does that come from? It comes from us burning ourselves out and, 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 and spinning our wheels faster than what's really needed. Because again, we have no allocation. We, we don't know. We have nothing, we have nothing freaking organized. We have nothing scheduled. We, we're just all over the place with our, with our time and with our money. So these two charts have really held allowed me to hold myself accountable, you guys, knowing exactly what money, what, what, what expenses are going out, knowing exactly what I need to make in my business in order to cover it, cover it. And then, and then again, knowing exactly what I'm doing at what specific time. And I live by these, you guys, I've been tracking my, my expenses and I've been tracking my schedule on a simple document for a very, very long time. So when Grove, you know, sent me a message, I'm like, damn, hell yeah, man. I'm glad someone's asking this because this is super, super important. So I'm going to have these two documents, you guys, down below in the description. So there's no there's no opt-in or anything like that. You can just click the link and it'll take you to Dropbox and you can just simply, you know, download um, a copy of it and, and, and you know, edit it and, and make your own make your own version of it. But the structure, the blueprint, I'm going to show you my exact my exact layout and, and what I go by. Um, and if you don't have a Dropbox, you'll see a link there to activate a free Dropbox. I use Dropbox for everything, man. All my images, um, all my all, any file. I don't have anything. I don't have anything on saved on my cell phone. So images, a lot of you guys, when you open up your cell phone, you have freaking 75,000 images and videos, right? That's how my wife is. I'm like, dude, I'm like, babe, what if you lose your phone? Like, I know, I know Apple backs it up too. If you, if you toggle that freaking setting on, you know, a Apple will back up your stuff, but I don't use Apple for backup. I use Dropbox. So the moment I, I take a picture of my kid or whatever, right, I'll, 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 I'll have it on my phone and then right away I'll upload it to Dropbox. And then same with PDFs, same with any type of file or video. Um, nothing is on my cell phone and nothing is on my computer. I keep it all in the cloud. So Dropbox has been amazing for years for me. So if you don't have, a, have an account, it's free. Um, there's a link right there in the description. You can just simply install Dropbox and then you can, you can, you can um, access this file. Okay, so here are two basic, and I have them on my 
my board as well, you guys. So right here um, behind me, if you can see behind me, there's that board right over there, right? Right over there, there's that board. That's where I have these two documents. I have a couple other documents, but these are really the most two important that I wanna really focus on. So one is, is my schedule, right? One is the schedule, knowing exactly what time I'm waking up, knowing exactly what's going on at that time um, is so, so important. So with me, this is really the schedule based on, on, on an online entre entrepreneur schedule, you guys. You know, a lot of you guys probably think I work 10 hours a day. I, I actually don't. Um, and I truly believe those that, that, that think they're working 10 hours a day, there's very, very few of you, man. So if you guys are like, hey, David, I work my ass off. You ain't working nothing. Like I work freaking way longer than you. I'm willing to bet you probably do as far as time, but what are you actually producing? Is every hour of your 17 hour work day productive? Hell no. Like I remember when I was in mortgages, like we'd work, we would, we would work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But what you don't know is that four hours within there, we were at happy hour, right? It's like, dude, like that's not productive, man. Like that's not productive. You can cram so much in a few hours. Like, like here, here's my point. Based on this, right? I'm waking up at 6 a.m. affirmations and prayer, right? 9 a.m. to noon, right? 9 a.m. to noon and then 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and then 1 p.m. to 3. So when you look at this, it's really 9 a.m. I start work to 3 p.m. And you're like, damn, David, six hours, that's it? It's like, bro, do you know that I probably get done way more in those six hours than you do in your 10-hour, 11-hour, 14-hour workday? I know, I know for a fact because I'm so focused. I don't do nothing else within these time, time blocks other than that right? So I'm not taking a 15 minute smoke break. I'm not going on lunch for freaking an hour, right? How many of you guys are freaking wasting time smoking outside because you got to take a smoke break? How many are you wasting time taking a 15 minute freaking break? How many of you are wasting your time lunch? It's like, dude, even when I was in the workplace, when I actually had a corporate job, one in all of my jobs, man, since the age of 19 years old, all of my jobs were sales jobs. Um, in my early 20s, actually in all my, my whole 20s, from, from freaking 19 to freaking 30, I was in call centers. So I was, I, was, I was on the phone, crushing it, closing deals, right? Outbounding, telemarketing. So one, and, and I was always top producer, always, always top producer. And it wasn't because I was better than anybody. I don't think it was that at all. I truly believe because it was time management. As everybody was outside smoking, as everybody's in the break room talking shit, and, and, and talking about what they did over the weekend while everybody's shooting the shit during on, on the sales floor, you know, during the day, I was zoned out. I didn't take one break. I don't smoke. So I wasn't out smoking cigarettes and, and shooting the shit with everybody. My lunch was at my freaking desk. My water was at my desk. The only time I got up was to take a piss. Like that was the only time I got up, man. So I would work like I, I would work. I would work from, let's just say 9 a.m. to 5 because that was traditional, you know, office hours or whatever. Um, and, and this was one job. When I was in mortgages, we went, we went from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But then again, it's like, dude, a few hours were just bullshit hours where we're just shooting the shit and freaking out drinking or whatever, you know, go out for lunch and we go out for lunch for three hours. It's like, dude, that's not productive. So one huge advantage that I would always have in the workplace was that I wouldn't take a break. Like I, I would, I would make blocks, hour blocks, and I would just go on a run, right? So, so in this case, what I do here, my appointments, 9 a.m., to 12 p.m. I'm either on appointments, right? Clients schedule calls, coaching clients. We, we schedule calls 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11, 11 a.m. Um, and then and then by 12, I'm normally I'm normally done because in those four hours, it's really 9 a.m., 10, 11, 9, 9 a.m., 10, and 11. And, and then and then and then 12 p.m. And then 12 p.m. Sometimes I'll have a call at 12 p.m. But when I have three to four super solid calls in a given day. That's all I really need. That's all I really need to really to really maximize. And again, everyone's a little different, but in my case, what I'm doing is I'm building an online business. So I'm really either running ads, which don't take, once the ad is out, shit, I'm done. Like that ad is gonna run 24 seven, get all the engagement, get all the views without me. So there's no more physical effort after I click a button to run an ad. My YouTube channel, all of you freaking amazing subscribers that are here, these videos are running 24 seven without me. So it's like I'm online. And, and so as, as ads go out and people are buying my digital course, 
that's all leverage, man. That's why I love the internet. That's why I love the leverage of what we have here online because building an online business, yes, it does take physical time. I'm showing you my physical time right now. I'm laying out the schedule, but, but as long as you, you execute within that given time, the rest is out in the cloud. The rest is online. Digital courses is what I sell, right? So, so those, cell, those cells are being made without me. Again, YouTube videos are being watched without me. You know, um, affiliate marketing, people are on subscriptions without me and I'm making a reoccurring income, right? So it's like, I can do so much. And again, that's why I chose the online space because of the ability to leverage the internet. That's what it's all about, man. So as again, you guys are putting in 13 hours a day of physical act of physical effort, thinking you're being productive. You're actually not, man. You're not, you're not, you're, you're just not. And so within that three hour period, nine to 12, I'm, I'm, I'm on calls. Or if I'm, if I don't have an appointment at 10 AM, 11 AM, for example, I'm, I'm direct messaging. So me, one source of my income is from direct messaging. And I'm going to show you my, my expenses and, and, and my incomes, right? My, my um, different price points and, and what I do, right? One source of income comes from direct messaging, which if you caught any of my videos in the, in the, in the very, very beginning, probably like 2018 um, over here on YouTube, I, 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 in fact, I'll freaking, I'll probably link a few of those, a, a few of those older videos in the description where I'm just going over my direct message strategy, right? I, I, I got really good at the direct message, you guys. I got really, really good at the direct message. Um, and I would say, I would say 90 plus percent of my, of my clients, um, have came from the direct message because I got really, really good at it. And, 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 and a lot of those appointments. So as you look at my, my, my videos, as you look at my channel here, Many of the, so, and if you go to my playlist, so if you go to playlist, look at social media strategy calls, a lot of those videos where I'm on a call with, with a client or a prospect, right? Those are all appointments that came from a direct message, right? So 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., if I'm not on, a, on an appointment, I am um, shooting out direct messages, okay? And that's what I call prospecting. That's one form of income that covers um a couple expenses, which I'm going to show you on the next page. Okay. So, and then 12 PM to 1 PM is when I'm either, either posting a YouTube video or I'm making this YouTube video, right? 12 PM to 1 PM. And, and all I do is I stack videos, right? So I have a bunch of, a bunch of videos in my YouTube channel that are just stacked and, 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 and preset and ready to launch at a given time or date, right? I, I stack, stack videos. So I don't have to, you know, always make them on, on the fly. Um, so I'm doing that. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And then 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is when I'm micromanaging, not, well, I hate using the word micromanage, but that's when I'm managing ads. I'm looking at the ads manager, I'm going over ads, or I'm setting up new ads, right, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., or I'm working on funnels, right? I got different funnels that I'm working with, Karcher funnels, Click funnel funnels, um, many funnel, you know, projects that I'm working on. Uh, it's in between those 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 three hours, one to three p.m. And then coursework. Coursework is courses that I'm actually actually no no that's actually down here Cantero Realty, which I'll get into. That's actually that's actually Cantero Realty from nine p.m. to twelve a.m. That's on the schedule until the twenty eighth, right? Until the twenty eighth. But really, what's down here um, after the twenty eighth is going to be coursework. But but coursework is. Up here, it's simply working on my course, right? Up here is working on my course. But after the 28th of February, for example, so depending, depending on when you're watching this, there's going to be coursework down here from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. But that coursework is me actually learning from courses that I'm investing in. Right, because you got to allocate time for that. If you guys are on, you know, over here buying courses and investing in different courses, whether it's coaching programs or, or learning how to run Facebook ads or YouTube, whatever, it's like shit, man. Like that's time consuming, right? I just purchased a course. I just purchased a, a Facebook advertising course, and there's like freaking thirty-seven videos in there. It's like that shit's time consuming. You got to allocate time to freaking get through that. Right. So that's what I do from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now, in this case, I'm going to let you guys in on a little, little secret. 
I'm actually building a real estate company, right? Right now, um, at the making of this video, I'm actually studying for my real estate exam, um, for my real estate license, um, to be licensed for the state of California. Not to necessarily go out there and be a real estate agent, even though I, I will be one, I'll be a licensed agent, but it's, it, it's to really build a back-end business from it. Um, to invest and and buy and, and and make a commission on 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 shit that I'm buying, right? So, the investment side of it all is what is is why I'm doing it. Um. So so right now within within this time period, right now the making of this video, it's freaking February. What are we at? February fourth. So 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 I have until the twenty eighth. My whole goal is to get through this course that I'm that I'm working on right now, which I which again I'm allocating nine p.m. to twelve a.m. So right now I'm, I'm going through an actual real estate prep exam course. And that's what I do at night. So here's what goes on after 3 p.m. So I'm working 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Focused, knowing exactly what I'm doing. And again, I truly believe I'm lapping most of you guys that are saying you're working 15 hours a day. I'm, I'm, I'm doing so much because, again, it's laser focused. I don't get up for shit um, other, than, other than a take one. You know what I mean? But 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 that's about it, and I'm right back to my desk. And that's why also when I was in you know the corporate environment, I'd have everything at my desk. The only time I would get up is to use the restroom. Go up, use the restroom, come right back. And and I truly believe that was my that was one of my huge advantages of of being being a top producer in, in many call centers that I was in. Because again, as most people were bullshitting, you think you're there from nine to five. You think you got so much time in a day. Time flies, man. As you guys know, time the day freaking just shoots by, and you're like, holy shit, I didn't get nothing than done right but but in my case again i've had this type of 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 of, of, of layout and, and and time management for a very very long time um so i just kind of stick to it and it allows me to to be productive so mondays that's my monday and and it's pretty much the same man tuesday um funnel video this is where i'm doing doing a video for 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 my facebook for social media where i i'll, I'll do i'll do like a, a a screen share just like this where i'm sharing a funnel um with 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 my audience and 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 my whole intention with that with that is to either get them on click funnels or get them on kartra um with 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 my funnel so 12 p.m to to 1 to 1 p.m that's what's going on. Um, in fact, you know what? It's, this is this is this is what's missing right here. Let me fix this real quick. This actually is supposed to go down here because it's it's all the same, right? So you don't. And another thing, if you notice, you don't you don't want every day to be totally different. At least that's my opinion. Because again, whatever you're doing, man, it's it's only it's only that. So what I highly highly encourage you guys to do, man. Here's one one side note go all in on what you're doing. Like stop trying to do five different businesses, like crack one first, right? Crack one first. And, and, and because you're going to need that energy, you're going to need that time. There's only so much time in a day. So it's like, if you're working on five different things, it's like, dude, we're not, there's only so many Elon Musk and shit for shit to tell you the truth. There's only one Elon Musk where you can go out there and build a freaking rocket company. You can go out there and build a car company. You can go out there and build a freaking put a chip in your head, freaking company, right? There's only so many that's an anomaly. Elon Musk is a freaking anomaly where there's only one out of a freaking billion like that, right? Most of us need to focus on one damn thing, right? Focus on one thing until it's successful and then you go and diversify, right? The whole diversification, it's a myth. Do one thing, master that one thing, and then go out there and, and freaking do others, right? So in this case, I'm, I'm focused on two things. I'm focused on, on building my building my, 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 my media business, which is digital courses and, and my coaching. And then also um, in the evening is when is when I'm working on is when I'm working on um, my real estate, my real estate business, right? So so after 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Is when I'm working out. I'll either go on a on a on a walk with my wife and and my kids, and, and we'll get it in, and we'll tr we'll we'll try to make the best of it, right? Um, put push ups, doing outside, just going out there and getting some air, man. A lot of times is, is what's really necessary, and and I and I knock that out every day from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then all the way to 9 p.m. So from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., I'm a full-time dad, man. Like I'm a full-time dad. I'm at home. I'm and even that's what's going on in the in the morning as well. So from from 6 a.m. from from the moment I'm waking up with my little newborn. Um, well, shit, he ain't new, new. He ain't too too new. He's freaking one and a half now. But my little boy. Um, Waking up with him at six, waking up with my daughter, my wife, you know, at, at six, and then from six a.m. to nine a.m. Right, my commute is freaking three seconds to the freaking home office here. Right, so 
from 6 a.m. To, to 9 a.m. in between those those few hours, I'm be, I'm a full time dad. I'm freaking feeding my kids breakfast, right? With my wife, we're we're we're, we're playing around in the beginning in in the morning, right? We're we're um doing break, basic running, not really, not really outside running errands, but, but indoor, like either cleaning house or whatever, trying to knock some stuff out, helping my wife in the, in the morning with, with that. And then after, after, um, after this workout from 5 PM to 9 PM, I'm doing the same thing. I'm running around with my kids. We're playing freaking tag. Uh, my little, yeah, I have a 14 year old son. And then I have two little ones, my little daughter, which you guys see a lot in my profile picture. Um, she's three. And then my little boy, he's, he's one. So from 5 PM, to 9 p.m. I'm a freaking dad, man. I'm freaking zoned out. I, 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 I turn off my phone. Um, I turn off my computer. I literally turn off my computer. Um, and I'm, and I'm all in with, with my, with my family, right? Quality time with my wife, quality time with my children. And, and that's going on from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then once, once we put them to bed, then daddy's back at work, right? I'll spend, and, and, and this 9 p.m., to 12 a.m. I have that down seven days. I have it down seven days. But every now and then, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take I'll take an evening off every now and then, um, and I'll and I'll spend time with my wife. Right, we'll get our little quality time in um, in the evening when the kids are in bed. Um, but no, we're not making no more kids, man. Holy shit. Those freaking kids, man. So overrated. Holy crap. You guys, man, get your money right before you go out there and start, start popping out kids. It's like, shit, man, that's a whole another responsibility. So it's like, it takes two, man. It takes, it takes, well, at least, you know, we, we, we try to hope, you know, that, that both parents are, 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 are involved, but many, many of us, right. Grow up, you know, single parents and, and things of that nature. But but I, I, I count my blessings every day. I'm freaking thankful. I, I, I thank God I'm blessed to, to, to have a wife, to have an amazing wife and, and to have my children and, and be able to spend that quality time, man, because not all of us have that, right? How many of you guys grew up with, with a single mom or, or grew up with a single dad, right? Or maybe some of you guys that are watching this didn't grow up with any parents, right? So I, I get that part, man. I, 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 I know that side of the, of the story as well. So for me to be able to work from home, for me to be able to spend time with my with my family, I, I, I take that just as serious as I take my freaking business. So it's really this, you guys. So Monday, Tuesday, it's pretty much the same all the way down to Saturday. Um, Saturday, I, I actually take time off. I, 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 I'm up at 6 a.m. And, and it's just full-time daddy. I give my wife a little break, right? She'll, she'll go out and, and, and run errands and, and, and go, you know, go for a hike or, or go hang out with a girlfriend on Saturday. And, and Saturdays is, is daddy daycare where I'm just all in. We're going to the playground. We're having fun, just me and my kids, um, um, and then and then and then I'll let my wife, you know, again, just just take a break because she she's on her grind as well, man. Full time mom. Um, thank God that I'm able to support us, and and she's able to stay at home and and raise our children, which is which is a blessing because again, not all of us have it like that, right? I totally get it, man. And so I don't take none of this for granted, man. Um, so Saturdays, I'm, I'm just all in full time dad, but when they get to bed, then I'm back on my grind. And so again, right now until the 28th to the end of February 2022, I'm, 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 I'm getting to this, this real estate exam um, prep course, and, and that's back 9pm to 12am. So and then and then Sunday, Sunday, church, family, going out, all family, right? Phone off, not even checking my phone, not even checking email, computer is off, Com computer does not come back on until 9 p.m., right? Kids get to bed, and, and, and on Sundays is when, I'll, is when I'll focus on my YouTube optimization, which I'll, 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 I'll preset a lot of my videos that are, that are set to go out. I post videos here on YouTube every Monday and Thursday at 8, 8 a.m. Pacific. So if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. What I tend to to put on this channel is really documenting my day in the life of, of running Facebook ads for clients, um, building sales funnels and landing pages for either my business or clients, and just really giving my two cents on my experience as an online entrepreneur. And I've been an entrepreneur for 20, 20 plus years. So, um, that's what I'm doing from 9 PM to 12 PM is, 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 is setting up my YouTube videos. And then also, adding more emails to my email automation. So if you guys, if you guys are, are, are again, building anything online, you're, you're running traffic to a, a website and making sales, or you're running traffic to some website to capture a lead. As this lead comes in, or even as the sell is made online, 
What's so important on the back end is your email automation, right? The, the, the handful of emails that go out after the lead has entered your world, right? So as you guys go out there and click on different things, as you opt in, you put your name, email, and you, you, you register for a webinar or you download a free ebook or you freaking, you buy something, whatever you're doing online, you're entering someone's world, right? So on the back end, what happens after you opt in? Typically, you start receiving emails from that individual, right? That's email automation. These emails need to be preset. So what I do is I allocate that time, 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. To, to, again, set all my YouTube videos that are all being stacked, um, optimize it, get the tags, get all that ready for YouTube, but then also add a lot of those YouTube videos to my email sequence. So if you're on any of my list, um, one, one, one huge list that's been successful is, is the one you see in the description, fbadscheatsheet.com. So if you're into FB ads, there's a free cheat sheet that I put together for you going over custom audiences and custom conversions, just the, the simplicity of that. Download your free copy. As people download that, for example, there's a handful of emails that go out. Now, there could be five emails, there could be 10 emails, there could be 15 emails. But what what what, what you have to understand, understand is that it started with no emails. I had to add one email, two email, three email. And so as I have some of these sequences, these email automations, these sequences set up, um, they started with, with, with one email, but now I have some sequences that are at freaking 57 emails, right? So you opt into my funnel, you're going to be getting a damn email for shit the rest of your damn life, right? Because I have so many emails freaking stacked in a sequence, for example, but I had to allocate time to even do that, right? To even preset. So if I have a sequence and there's five emails, okay, on Sunday, 9 p.m., I'm going to add email number six, seven, and eight. Next Sunday at 9 p.m., I'm going to add eight, nine, and 10, right? Or whatever number I'm on, right? I'm going to keep adding. I'm going to keep stacking emails on certain sequences that I have. So, so important, you guys. And so I, I dedicate my, my Sunday evenings. Um, again, once the kids are in bed, I'll, I'll get back online. And, and that's what I'm doing um, um, in, in, in that time period. So that's one thing, you guys, is the actual schedule. And I'm again, man, I'm, I'm a true believer that you don't need to be working unless, you, unless you're trying to be Elon Musk. If you're freaking trying to be Elon Musk, then your ass better be working 20 hours a day because there's so much important shit that needs to go on. But I truly believe most of us are not like that. Like, you ain't that important, bro. Like, you're, you, you, come on, dude, what, what are we doing? Selling shit online? Like, come on, like, it's not that life changing. Well, I guess it is, right? We we are we are changing lives with hopefully you guys are hopefully we all are changing lives with our products and services. But you know what I mean? We're not freaking developing chips for brains and shit. You know what I mean? Or 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 or, or manufacturing freaking ele manufacturing electric cars, right? So it's like if we're not doing that, it's like dude, you don't need to be working 15 hours a day. Condense it, focus in and spend time also with your family. Don't let, don't, don't take advantage. Don't freaking, don't, don't, don't ruin that, man. Because I've been there and done that as well. You guys, again, if you caught my last video, I'm talking about cycling. I've already cycled a couple of times, meaning been at the top and then boom, hit the bottom, right? Been at the top again and then boom, hit the bottom, right? That's called cycling. Um, and so when you're working your ass off and you're freaking, and you're, and you're, and you're, um, you're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're, um, you're, 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 you're neglecting your family time, especially if you're a parent, right? Some of you guys aren't even parents. You're like, David, it's just freaking me and my dog. Okay. Well then shit work freaking 37 hours a day, if that's the case. But again, I guarantee you half that time you're bullshitting. So, so, so what I'm saying is the fact that if you were to condense your time, again, my time is condensed to six hours, 9am to 3pm. In those six hours, I get so much done, and then I go and focus on my family. Because again, man, that to me, in my opinion, my humble opinion, that's the most important, man. Without my wife, without my kids, without my family, I ain't nothing. None of this stuff matters, man, if it wasn't for them. So I have to take care of them too. And it's not just financially, it's quality time, right? So this is my schedule, you guys, as a full-time entrepreneur um, and as a full-time 
dad, right? Because I, I, I definitely get it in um, as well with, with my kids and, and my wife. So that's the schedule. That's the schedule. I'm going to link it right in the description so you guys can kind of just get it, model it, you know, change it and, and, and really stick to it, man. Having everything down on paper, having it on the wall, right? That's one thing. But one thing you have to do, man, is freaking stick with it. Stick with it, right? Um, and, 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 and again, you can go on blitz. Like in this case, with certain activities on this daily schedule, it's really just a blitz, right? I'm going to try to get this all done by the 28th of this month, for example. And then, and then this evening hour will change out. Um, and so structure it how you wish, you guys, based on, on your life, based on, on, on your family's life. Um, and I truly believe it will really help you um, be more productive, bottom line. Okay, so, so there's my schedule. Another thing, you guys, is my expenses, right? I literally try to keep my expenses so freaking low. Like I'm not super flashy. Again, cycled already a couple of times, been there, done that, had the freaking million dollar home, had the freaking expensive ass cars, bought my first wife a freaking $30,000 $30, freaking wedding ring. Like I've been there, man. I've been there, done that. It's like, I'm not into the flashy shit anymore, right? Um, so I try to keep my expenses so freaking low, man. Um, and so this is how I kind of have it structured where my, these are the majority of my expenses, right? And these are typical expenses, right? Car insurance, life insurance, my, my car chair account, my freaking child support, my, my, my cell phone, my utility bill, um, video editing, SEO thumbnails, and then, and then click funnels. These are my basic expenses. And then I got, and then I got food, um, and, 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 and even I don't have a car payment, but really just what's not on here is food because it comes from another income source, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you. And then gas for the car that's on another, that's on another, um, um, right, right below, which I'll show you, but, but I want to keep the focus right here for, for right now, these expenses, these are, these are the majority of my expenses, right? And so these expenses equal a thousand bucks which ain't shit. Some of you guys are like, damn, dude, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And then some of you guys are like, damn, David, you got a lot of expenses. I mean, it's kind of whatever it, it's what it's, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's freaking, um, it's, um, I forgot the word I'm looking for, but whatever, whether that's a lot to you or a little, whatever, that's what it is a thousand. So what I do and what I, what I, what I, what I really aim for and, and, and I've already surpassed it, but I try to get little certain income streams to pay for certain expenses. So in this case, my affiliate commission on Kartra alone, right? So if you've been following me on my channel, I'm an affiliate with Kartra. Um, that's the link in the description, profit with Kartra.online. That's for landing pages, um, sales funnels, email automation, your online calendar. I've been using and promoting Kartra for the last few years, right? Um, and that monthly reoccurring income, because I'm an affiliate, right? That monthly income that I see is way past this, is way past a thousand a month. But again, it's the thousand that is my total expense. So what I use to pay for that is my Kartra income, which is the affiliate, and then my YouTube income, which comes from these ads that run on my YouTube videos, right? Google AdSense. That income, that monthly income is what it's, it's way more than this, but what I'm trying to say is that's what covers the thousand a month. That's what covers this, right? Um, the thousand, the, the thousand seventy are those two, those two income sources, my Karcher affiliate income alone and my YouTube um, AdSense income alone cover all of these expenses, right? Now down here, this is my actual rent. So yes, man, my rent is freaking 2,700 or 2,800 shit. I'm in San Diego. I'm in California. Shit is so overpriced here. It's not even funny. I have a, I have an apartment. I have a nice apartment, right? You guys just see this part, but I have a pretty damn nice. It's not the best. It's not the most luxurious at all. Um, but it's not, it's not, I mean, I'm not in the hood. I used to, I mean, shit, I'll keep it real. I grew up in the hood. This is not the hood, um, a little outside of the hood, but it's somewhat of a nice apartment. And yeah, that's the freaking rent is 2793. So with that, what I, what, I, what I depend on is my direct messaging, my course sales, and this little monthly client, which the monthly client, I don't, I don't do monthly clients anymore, but shout out to So Beard. They're, they're my one 
little monthly client that I'm actually scaling right now. So we're, we're going to be growing together and I'm going to be taking that whole brand to another level, but that's my only monthly client. I don't take on monthly clients. I'm more into core sales um, and affiliate marketing. That's where, that's where I'm really, really at, but it's really these three. So direct message, core sales, and, and my monthly client that cover this 2793, right? Now, again, this right here, it, it, it's way, it surpassed that amount, but that's what I, I depend on to cover the rent. So when you cover, when you, when you, when you add the 1070 to the 2793, my total expenses is 3863. So it's those sources of income that cover that. And so with the direct message, with the weekly, with the, with, with the direct message, I know exactly the price point. I know exactly the percentage that my credit card processing company takes. I know exactly what the net is. So if I'm charging $1,000 for coaching or a course, I know exactly the net of what's going to land in my bank account. And I know exactly how many are needed in order to contribute to this rent, right? So if I just had, let's just say two, and we're way past this, but I'm giving you bottom line minimum numbers that offset or not offset, but that cover that expense. So in a given 30 day period, for example, I just need two of these core cells two to equal the 1942. And that goes towards the 2793. Right. So I hope that makes sense. And then direct message, direct message. I simply charge anywhere from 150 to 300 to run a simple ad for a client, right? That's my direct message where I'm just running a simple ad. It's my, it's, it's, it's the first step in my value ladder to getting them to a coaching client to, to eventually become a coaching client. I start them off super, super low, 150, 300 to run a simple ad. And then, and then I eventually upsell them to coaching, which is, which is typically a thousand. Now that, that number is going to be way, way higher um, here in the near future. But again, it may not be to tell you the truth, because I'm not into high ticket coaching. I'm not really going that route. Um, I'm going the, the, the course, the course route where, where I'm cool selling a nine, a $997 product, because again, my, I have a whole different business model and, and a whole different plan. So it's not really necessarily for high ticket selling. So I don't need to be charging five grand for coaching. That's not really the model that I'm, that I'm going after. Um, but back to here, these, this simple direct message, right? This simple direct message. Again, I know the exact percentage after the credit card processing fee, after I put a, a little aside for the actual ad, I know exactly how much is hitting my bank account. Right. And then what I do with that is I'll go pay my visa. What I do with that is I'll pay for some ads. What I do with that is I'll put it in, in, in gas for the car, right? So this direct message income alone pays for, let's just call it visa and, and ads, this little direct message. So it's one income, so one income stream that's covering, you know, these expenses, my visa, for example, and, and ads, right? Um, and then, and then course sales. I have a $97 course and then I have a 997 course. So within a 30 day period, as long as I hit 10 cells on this 97, that 90, 970, so we add the 970 to the 1942, then boom, rent's covered. Or down here, 997 on the course, I sell three of them in a 30-day period, that's 2,600, that's going towards the rent, right? And then my little monthly client over here that, I'm, that we're scaling up right now, pretty soon I'll be at, you know, 13 grand a month with them. My one client, which I, I, I you know, shout out to So Beard. I really care for them and we're going to be growing. Um, I'm really excited to, to grow with them. But this little 350, just to run a couple ads for them, that I apply that to my rent as well. So again, direct message, core sales, and that MC, the monthly client. That all, the 1942, the 970, the 2600, the 350 is way over 2793. But that's what I use to cover that rent expense. That's it, you guys. So knowing exactly your expenses, knowing exactly how many cells you need, depend no matter what the hell you're doing, right? It's so, so important. It'll keep you, it'll allow you to, to, to stay focused. It'll keep you on track. It'll, it'll, it'll keep you holding yourself accountable. You got to hit these numbers or, or we don't freaking eat type of thing, right? Um, and I truly believe these two can really, really 
help you be more focused, more productive, and just know exactly where your time and where your freaking money is going. So you guys, I'm going to have these two documents um, link, linked in the description. And if you don't have a Dropbox, there's a link there where you can activate a free account. It's free. Um, I highly recommend, man, put all your files on that, man. Get, get your files off your phone, get your files off of your computer, put them in the cloud. And, 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 and just in case you lose your shit, everything's up in the cloud, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. You, um, you guys, that's the schedule. That's the expenses based on a freaking, the life of an entrepreneur and a full-time dad. So hopefully you guys got value out of that. Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.